Good day. My name is Reverend Ronald Nathan. I'm the minister of the Hogard Amy Zion Church, which is located in Jackson in St. Michael on the island of Barbados. Thank you for joining us today in our series of meditations called Veiled Truths. This is where we look at the parables of Jesus the Christ. A parable is a story that illustrates a truth. The truth with a twist located in things familiar. Jesus, the Palestinian Jew, also known as the Christ, used this first century literary form in his teachings to ordinary folk. Some will get its meaning, many won't, for they are designed to make the listener think. Today's parable is about the net, the net, or the reckoning, which comes from Matthew chapter 13, verse 47 through to 50. I read the first two verses. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fishes. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. A picture speaks a thousand words. And when Jesus resorted to speaking in parables, he used words to paint pictures of things that the people were familiar with. So many of the Jewish people lived in the lands in close proximity to the Sea of Galilee or near to the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. And therefore, they were accustomed to the fisher folk's life and profession. There is a net that is thrown into the lake and the good fish and the bad fish will be caught. Jesus was speaking here of a reckoning. That there is going to be a time when there is a summing up and an accounting that has to be given. There is consistency in the teachings of Jesus Christ because he had said on a number of occasions that humans will be rewarded for their actions. What you sow that you shall reap. That which is hidden shall be revealed. There will come a time when all of our actions will be tested, and that which is righteous shall stand, and that which is evil and wicked will be destroyed. Such is the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said. There are those who believe that they can hide from the police, hide from the auditor, or even hide from the International Criminal Court. But a net is being thrown into the lake of humanity, and all human beings will have to answer for themselves. Those who have given themselves over to wickedness, deceit, and evil, and due to their own arrogance and pride believe that their power, privilege, and influence will cover and protect them and give them immunity. No. No. That will not work this time. The child of evil will be judged by God just as the child of righteousness. Jesus in this parable declared that the kingdom of God will require consequences to your actions, consequences to my action. That is the central theme of this parable. We are the children of God, destined to produce fruit for his kingdom in the now and the hereafter. Jesus the Christ taught the people many things by parables. That which was veiled has been revealed. 
Let us learn from these earthly stories and draw closer to God. Let us pray. May God open our minds to understand his will. Open our eyes to see his doings. Open our ears to hear his bidding. Open our hands to receive his blessings. And open our hearts to love his children. Amen. If this meditation has been of a blessing to you, we pray that you would Subscribe to our YouTube channel, pass our link on to your family and friends, and give us a thumbs up. God bless you and have a great day.